what up everybody, this is your girl Dawn Bashar and I just want you to know you know you got something.com. So we're doing EP on Rock will be out tomorrow. Yeah, just give us an introduction to the EP. Um, I'm her own movie on iTunes. Actually, probably now, it's midnight um, on iTunes and I'm really excited about it. People are asking me why I said on oh, and they're like, are you afraid? And I was like, no, contrary to that, um, I'm asking my heart to get ready for battle because we have arrived. I want them to feel like fighters. I want this to be, that's why this movie is aggressive and it's militant and it's tribal. I want them to feel like um, they can do anything. It's very danceable, but it still has a message. And I, I really wanted to push R&B into a new sound, sonically. Yeah. Talk a little bit about the sound of the album, because we're here at the, at the listening party. So many different sounds, you know, R&B, definitely a different sound there. Um, and you mentioned you chose to be you on this EP, yeah. right? And, like, you know, talk about that. Um, sonically, I, I, there are, you, can, you can tell musically that R&B is the underlining, um, the underlining heartbeat of the, of the EP, but I think, you know, being from New Orleans and having the second line be kind of something that drives me. I wanted the percussions and the 808s and the kicks and the snares to be the driving force of the EP. And if you can listen and tell, it never stops moving. It kind of pushes you forward. Even when I say it's techno and dance, that isn't techno and dance. It's, it's just soul. It's soul. It's tribal. It's something that's causing you to move your body in a different way. They want to call it techno because they can't stop moving. And that's what kind of trance music does. But it's really more atmospheric. And I think um, putting R&B with that atmospheric sound, it, it kind of makes people feel different. They don't know how to feel about it. But I think that's what we're supposed to do as artists. We're supposed to push people without losing them, but making them feel something. And I was in a little listening party and a guy said, I felt like it was in my spit of my stomach. I just felt like I was, it made me emotional. And um, that's a good feeling, you know what I mean? And that's kind of what I wanted the EP to do sonically. And I wanted it to do it in the message as well. I wanted people to feel something. Cool. And um, you know, this EP is the prelude to your album Golden Heart. Mm -hmm. And um, just talk a little bit about that. Um, you know, I, I, I'm, I pride myself on doing this, this, this EP, even the mixtape that I did prior, as a conceptual um, story. And I always call it a musical graphic novel because I feel like I'm vividly trying to paint a picture with the sounds and words that we're working with. And I wanted, even when I did Telltale Heart, every song ran into each other. I wanted it to feel like you couldn't turn it off because of every song kind of told its story. The same thing happens with the EP. If you play it through, it literally doesn't stop. It kind of, you feel like you're in one big rainforest. <laughs> like, you feel like you're really preparing. And I think the EP, what I wanted it to sound like was preparation. That's really what I wanted it to sound like. You were preparing for something. And um, if I could give you a visual of a person putting on armor, this would be the soundtrack of them getting ready for training. Like, putting on the bar, getting ready to go into the world. And the golden, golden heart, where our where the armor on ends, golden heart will begin. So sonically, whatever that sounds like, the battle, the outro, the intro will sound like the golden heart. No, that's it. Anything to go to Make sure you guys get it on iTunes. Hearts, this one's for you. Let's get this a word of mouth. Let's put it all over the place. Even if you, I know it makes you feel something, and I, I love that people are uncomfortable about it. I think if you listen to it and you give it a shot, it'll, it'll, I think this is going to be a classic. I think people will be loving this years to come because it's something that's pushing you forward into another sound. I'm proud of what we've done during that.